Now, my name is Paul Alexander. I run a company called Prime West Limited. We're agricultural contractors operating in the Cotswolds mainly. We operate the Crosslot drill. Now the Crosslot originally came from New Zealand. This particular model that we've modified and the frame and hopper are manufactured in the UK and we just import the openers from New Zealand. The true unique feature of it is the disc and a winged blade that is running alongside that disc. Now that allows the seed to be placed in a horizontal slot in the soil and close very efficiently. One of the main features is the very low disturbance. All you can see is a, a narrow slot in the ground, unlike other drills where you, you see a lot of brown soil, which of course is destroying soil biology and perhaps allowing moisture to escape. Because the blade runs really tight to the disc, it allows us to drill in any sort of residue. So we can drill into cover crops, or we could drill into an old sward and, and rejuvenate it very successfully without losing any moisture. What gives the crosslight its name is this wing here that lifts a horizontal flap of soil to enable the seed to be left on a ledge about here. And this press wheel controls the depth and just seals that slot back up again. Depth control is by this turnbuckle here that just lifts or lowers the press wheels. We've put the fan on the back of the drill just simply to take the noise of that away from the operator. We've made it easy to maintain because you can just lift these wings up and get them at convenient height to grease or change wearing metal. This is the ground radar. Uh, a, lot, a lot of drills have this these days. This um, sends signals to the electric motor there that drives the metering system. So as we increase or decrease speed, it varies the speed of the metering system. And all the electrics that operate that, the shaft speed sensors, low level, and we've got two television cameras on it so we can see the back view from the drill and also in the hopper are enclosed in that box on the side of the drill. The openers um, have got 450 millimetres of travel so they can cope with very uneven fields. We can even drill into ridge and furrow and we can put 450 kilos of downforce onto each opener if the soil is very hard or very stony. And when you're drilling most of the weight of the drill is carried on these small press wheels. One thing we can do with the openers is vary the pressure. All these cylinders are linked through the pipes to that large manifold over there and to those accumulators on the side of the drill. If we come into a harder piece of soil, we can increase hydraulic pressure on the tractor, maintaining seeding depth. If, it come, if the soil becomes soft, we can reduce that pressure. Um, we can also add another feature to the drill, which is ADF, which is, involves putting load cells here in the opener um, and then the track that we can run that and automatic downforce. The metering system is a simple accord system, so that'll handle everything from clover seed up to a bean seed, and you know, and all the cereals and grasses in between. Also, it's a standard Cavernon air delivery system. So, all that is common throughout Europe. 